Hi everybody, and welcome to the first episode in our FTC Crash Course Awards and Judging series. Today, in our first video, we're going to be talking about the importance and basics of FTC judging. In today's video, we're going to do a quick series overview and talk about who this series is for and what we're going to be covering in all of our videos on this series. We're also going to be talking about FTC judging basics, so if you have questions regarding the FTC judged awards, the judging room, judge deliberation, or the judging versus the robot game, we're going to be answering those in this video. We're also going to be talking about the advantages of pursuing FTC judged awards with FTC award advancement and the first experience. Finally, we're going to offer what we think some of the best first steps you can take are in your FTC judging journey. So that's going to include some of the quick objectives that you can try to meet with your team to get started uh, with your judging process. So, this series intent is to offer as much information as we can give about the FTC judging process and the awards. The series is geared towards rookie teams or anyone new to FTC who wants to know more about the judging processes. Topics will range from award description videos to more in-depth review of how your team can be effective in each judging category. Each video will feature examples of how teams have been successful in winning these awards in the past and doing well at competitions. We're also going to be offering objectives and homework along the way that can help your team be more effective working through this judging process. Finally, we're going to be uploading new videos from this series every Friday. All right, to kick off our material for today's video, we're going to be talking about FTC judging versus the FTC robot game. First Tech Challenge is mainly split into two large categories, those being the robot game and the judging system. The robot game is the competition day matches where teams will face off in a 2v2 format to determine who wins each match and total up ranking points throughout the day. The judging system is often referred to as the back rooms, where volunteer judges deliberate on which teams should earn which judged awards based on their interview. Although the two categories of FTC competition may seem very separate and are often thought to be very separate, it's important to understand that FTC judged awards are made to help you thrive in both categories of FTC. Finally, teams are judged on a 10 minute presentation and Q&A session with a group of two to four judges in the morning of each competition, or the day before, depending on how large that competition is. In the FTC tournament structure, teams are awarded advancement via their accomplishments in each competition. The highest ranking advancement criteria a team can meet is the Inspire Award, which is earned through the judging processes. Additionally, at larger competitions, you are much more likely to advance from a judged award over a robot game performance, considering in most cases the only teams to advance off of a robot game are through the winning alliance and finalist alliance. It is important to realize that judging is as much of a competition as the robot game, and increase your chances in moving on and reaching higher levels of competition caliber. Additionally, over the past year, we've seen some state championships move to only having one advancement slot to the world championship, meaning that only the Inspire Award winner will advance to the world championship from that region, putting an even higher importance on judging in those regions. So far in this video, you've probably heard me refer to the judged awards, and you might be wondering what those are, so I'm going to go over that right now. As a quick preface, each judged award is given a first, second, and third place. In most, but not all cases, the only award that will advance a second or third place nominee is the Inspire Award. Now I'm going to go top to bottom on which ranks highest and which ranks lowest in terms of advancement criteria. So as I mentioned earlier, the first award on our ranking list is going to be the Inspire Award. And the Inspire Award awards the team that best fits all of the requirements for all of the awards I'm going to be mentioning here in a couple seconds. The second award on our ranking list is the Think Award. The Think Award is awarded to a team who shows exemplary documentation of their entire engineering process and shows every step of the way logging all parts of their journey, and who also implements heavy uses of math and science to validate their concepts. Next in third is going to be the Connect Award. The Connect Award is awarded to a team who makes extensive connections within their STEM community, and particularly professional STEM community, to strengthen their team and bring professional engineers into the FIRST program. In fourth is going to be 
the Innovate Award. The Innovate Award, like its name suggests, goes to the team with the most creative design or most creative subcomponent that works reliably. And in fifth is going to be the Control Award. The Control Award is given to the team who implements reliable control elements to improve their autonomous and teleop control. In sixth, is going to be the Motivate Award. The Motivate Award is reserved to a team who makes extensive impact within their community and who spreads first as far as they can reach. And lastly, in seventh, is the Design Award. The Design Award goes to the team who has the most substantial use of CAD and strictly follows to the professional engineering process. As one of our last topics in this video, we're going to be talking about why each team should care about FTC judging, and particularly new rookie teams. Although FTC often brings in individuals who are enticed by the technical aspects of the program, judging is still a huge part of First Tech Challenge. In the end, working towards earning an award is a lot of work, but they can offer some great advantages. As we've already seen, being competitive for judged awards increases your chances of advancing to the next level of competition and can act as a failsafe if the robot game doesn't go your way. More importantly, these awards exist for a reason and have been carefully curated by FTC officials for the sole purpose of growing the knowledge you walk away from their program with. Working in every judge category will ultimately gain you skills that you likely never would have taken time to learn. These skills will put you in a much better position as you leave the program and enter into professional or heavier academic fields. For rookie teams, it's understandably hard to begin organizing their efforts towards earning a judged award, so we wanted to offer some starting points. First, begin rounding out your understanding of the FTC judged awards through first official resources. And all the resources that you'll need to accomplish this are gonna be found in the description below. So go check those out and start reading. We're also gonna be providing many more future videos, including in-depth reviews for all awards. So if you're interested in watching those, make sure to stay tuned. Next, you're going to want to set some initial goals within your team to discuss how you can set your sights on one or multiple awards so that you can start organizing your work and have everybody be on the same page of what you're trying to accomplish. Finally, the biggest thing you can do to prepare for FTC judging is begin basic documentation of your team's journey. I didn't cover it a lot in this video, but we're going to be having a lot more videos about the engineering notebook in the future because it is that important. Starting your engineering notebook now will put you very far ahead of other rookie teams because you'll already have a sense of what works for your team and have better documentation that's lasted since the start of your career to wherever you end off. So that's all we had for today's video. So if you're interested in FTC judging and want to learn more, make sure to stay tuned for all of the other videos in our judging and awards series. And also, if you're looking for first resources, you can find a bunch of resources regarding FTC judging in the description below.